As a teacher, it is no secret that we are overworked and underpaid. Our jam-packed schedule often gives us little to no time to take a breath. And with the limitless time spent meticulously curating these lessons and preparing our students, the compensation we often get from it is not even close to satisfactory. But fortunately, there is a way to supplement your income simply by sharing some of those classroom resources and lesson plans through the Teachers Pay Teachers online platform. This, of course, is after you have clearance from your employer. So you finally managed to create an online store on the platform, but your resources are not selling that much. So you are wondering, what can you do to earn more from your store? Well, you're in luck because today I will help you reach your first $1,000 milestone. So stay tuned as I roll out the top 10 habits to quickly make your first $1,000 on Teachers Pay Teachers. Real teachers have made thousands and even millions of dollars by selling on TPT. And the good news is, you can too. Number 10, find your niche. TPT is a market that's saturated with tons of other sellers, so it's essential that your store stands out as much as possible. Some markets, especially for early elementary students, are heavily saturated. I mean, how many phonics assignments have I seen on TPT? Tons. Um, as a music teacher, for example, you might have fewer potential buyers, but you have less competition. So to succeed, you have to niche down and find a unique selling proposition, something your competitors don't have. To find your niche, consider what you're passionate about, your strengths, and look into what niches are out there. And then you're going to ask yourself, what makes your products unique? Why should your customer buy from you or a potential customer buy from you and not your competitor? Ask yourself these hard questions or interview people in your target market. These will help you find your unique spin. However, having a niche doesn't mean you'll never stray away and create a product outside of that niche, but it does give your store a focus on creating your resources and branding your store. Number nine, create something that matters. Without a doubt, the number one quality of a best-selling resource is that it feels a need. So when you're creating your products, think of your why. You're not just creating sight word worksheets. You're teaching first graders how to spell and you're saving teachers time. You're not just creating history resources. You're creating resources that align with current events that impact our nation, our students, their families, and their environments. To develop that best-selling resource, ask yourself what you need in your classroom that you don't, don't currently have. What do other teachers need in their classrooms? What teaching resources do you currently use in your classroom that are successful? If your product is successful in your classroom, chances are it is also needed and can be successful in other classrooms. Figure out what needs each resource you intend to create will fill and develop that product around that need. Try and find ways to make your resource unique or serve needs that aren't currently being met. Number eight, do better designs. Humans are visual people and therefore your product designs matter. Designing your brand and cover is one of the more difficult parts of selling on TPT. Your small product cover is the first impression your potential customers are going to see of your business. You have to make it count. Because of the small size, less is more. Create covers with large titles. Many sellers end up going back to their first listings and redoing their covers. Of course, it's all part of the learning curve and growth as a seller. Avoid hard to read fonts. Avoid more than three fonts on a graphic. Two is ideal. 
you can invest in some font packs. Creative Market is one of my favorite places to find fonts. Have a specific theme or brand going on with your product covers. For a pro tip, when you're making your cover for a product, take time to make a Pinterest worthy pin for that product as well. Why? Pinterest is one of the go-to social media places for teachers. So this will help you save time and it will make your brand more cohesive. Number seven, build a strong brand. Your TPT store is your business and like all businesses, branding is essential. This is what helps identify you and helps customers and other sellers identify you. Your brand is how you want to represent yourself and your store to others. The key to this step is consistency. You want to have consistent branding, not only on your TPT store, but also across all of your social media accounts and your blog, if you have one. And why? You might be asking, yes. It's because consistent branding helps reinforce awareness of your brand and can help drive traffic to your TPT store. There are four main components to your TPT store branding, including your store name, logo or profile name, tagline, and professional business accounts for each social media platform you intend on using. Number six, create detailed descriptions of your product. Whenever you wanna buy a product, we are always checking for the descriptions to get precise information about what we are about to purchase and know if the product fulfills our needs. Undoubtedly, a product without a well-detailed description will draw few customers to your store. So whenever you upload your products, be sure to create a detailed description to go with them. Tell the customers what your product does, what standards, if any, it addresses, how it helps fulfill teachers' needs, the number of pages it has, and what the buyers are getting. Be as detailed as you can in your description and fill out all options, page numbers, answer key, uh, even if you know it's not one, put NA, not applicable, standards, and more. Number five, listen to your customers. One of the most critical aspects of business is feedback. Whenever you upload your products, always consider the feedback you get from your customers. Positive or negative, these are the comments that will help you improve your resource to better suit your customers. You can have some errors in your resource that you might not notice, but your customers may. For example, you might forget to add answer keys. When you listen to your customers, you'll get to identify these errors and rectify them before you lose more customers. Always work on updating your resources. Revise and improve your products as suggested by your customers because by doing this, you get to meet every need they have. Therefore, drawing in more customers and earning more money. Number four, track your sales data. Tracking sales data and traffic data is a vital aspect of a successful TPT store. Analyzing which of your products are selling well and which aren't can provide you with priceless insights that help you make the most educated decisions moving forward. Fortunately, TPT's seller dashboard offers all of your sales and traffic data for you. You can choose a specific date range, individual products, or any combination of products to analyze. You just need to know what to pay attention to. Look at the conversion rates to know the percentage of people who viewed a product and made a purchase. This is an essential aspect as it shows you which products are selling well and which aren't. And this can help you make price adjustment decisions in the future. You can also track your sales and profits, which can help you keep your earning goals in check and inform future decisions. Number three, 
promote your products. If you're looking to make your first $1,000 on your TPT store, you need to promote your product to beat the competition. Promote your products with freebies, bundles, sales, and social media. For starters, freebies act as your calling card. They allow customers to get a sample of your work and your teaching style, and they can generate interest in paid products. Secondly, you can promote your resources by creating bundles and throwing sales to help boost more sales. Bundles are great best sellers because they offer more value for the price. Throwing a sale about once a month is also a great way to generate traffic and encourage users to purchase your products. Lastly, use social media to boost product exposure, sales, and gain a following to help build brand loyalty. Use social media as a promotional tool, but don't use it as the sole source for TPT-related advertisements. Number two, get a premium membership. TPT offers two types of memberships, free and premium. The premium membership costs, as of the recording of this video, $59.95 annually. But trust me, it's an absolute must. Why? Because with a premium membership, you get to keep more of what you earn. With the free membership, you only keep 60% of each sale, while the premium membership enables you to keep 85% of each sale. Let's say you have a lesson plan priced at $5. With the premium membership, you keep 25% more of your revenue per sale. It would be a mistake to skip the premium membership when your goal is to earn your first $1,000. The sooner you upgrade, the sooner you'll be making more money. Number one, create and bundle regularly. This will help you increase the probability of you gaining more profit quickly. The more work you put in each week, the faster you'll start earning. I recommend working on your TPT store for at least one hour per day at the start. At least if you can. Remember, this is all time that will pay off in passive income down the line. Cha-ching! When you bundle products, you are creating a collection of several individual TPT resources into one single product. The price offered for the bundle is typically a lot cheaper than what you would pay if you had to purchase each of those products in that bundle individually. Okay, so there you have it, the top 10 habits to quickly make your first $1,000 on Teachers Pay Teachers. Adopt these habits and you'll sell up a storm. Be sure to check out my TPT freebies and other resources in the description below. Subscribe, like, share, turn on that notification bell for timely updates when I upload. I look forward to seeing you soon.